this kind of weather. Wait, look out the window. It's a real mess. I'll show you another camera. Here is a look. And as we check out over the Superdome, man, is it gray out there. So here is a look at what's happening. We've got an area of low pressure that's along the coast, and it's going to be moving to the east. Lots of moisture being pumped over southeast Louisiana and south Mississippi. And then we've got this upper level low out west that's moving to the east. That's going to give us rain chances as we go into tomorrow. So zooming in, this rain all the way over here by Lake Charles, extending into New Orleans along the Mississippi Gulf Coast up towards Jackson. So it's really covering a lot of territory. And there is the potential for locally heavy rain just south of Galveston. They had Doppler indicated almost five inches of rain. So the heavy rain now near Lake Charles all the way to Baton Rouge into the metro area. Not pretty out there. If you don't need to drive, you know, just stay home at this point. So on the North Shore, we're seeing some heavier rain right over towards Picayune. We're also seeing some moderate rain right over Tangipaho Parish and then over towards Thibodeau as well. So if you're driving up Interstate 59, that's where you're going to get the locally heavy rain. Right along I-12 near Covington, you've got some moderate rain there. And then into St. Helena Parish by Baton Rouge, over towards Towards Gramercy, down towards Homa. This is where you've got another line of moderate rain. So far, we haven't had much rain. You know, it just started this afternoon. So, two tenths of an inch to a half an inch, basically, Doppler indicated. But watch what happens as we go into the evening hours. 11 o'clock. We are getting a forecast of about a half an inch of rain. Then by 12 o'clock, we're getting one inch rainfalls in a lot of locations. As we go to 2 o'clock, look over here by Homa, the potential for two and a half inches of rain. Then we go into the morning. Here's that upper low that's beginning to move in, and it's going to give us more rain. By the time it's all done, close to an inch, to two and a half inches of rain. So just be aware that this is happening. As we look at that forecast model, here comes the low moving to the east. Highs tomorrow could actually occur in the morning. Tomorrow during the day, mostly in the 40s, the wind is blowing. A chance of showers in the morning, not pretty. But as you go into your Saturday, gosh, that looks nice. It is going to be chilly. High temperatures, mid 50s. But wait, as we go into Sunday, Nice weather again, sunny skies, high temperatures near 60 degrees. So rain tonight, some heavy at times, windy, small craft advisories posted, winds east at 20 to 25 knots becoming north tomorrow night, and then cloudy and cold for your Friday, the potential for some showers. Let's break it down, 9 o'clock 48, and then noontime 47, 3 o'clock 47. Tomorrow not looking pretty with the cloudy skies and still some showers. Saturday and Sunday look great, cold in the morning though. Monday, another front moves through early, but look at this, from Saturday through Thursday, sunny skies. We just have to get through tonight and tomorrow. That 